Hey everybody, I'm here with my brand new sewing machine. I am just so excited about this. Um, I have been sewing with the very same sewing machine that I started on four years ago. And I've been wanting to upgrade for a while and just felt really overwhelmed by all the options out there. But I went and did due diligence and did the research and I decided on the Brother um, Laura Ashley PC660LA. So today I'm going to do an unboxing video for you where basically I'm just going to open the box and take everything out and we're going to experience seeing the sewing machine for the first time together. So here we go. I've actually already um, cut open the box but I haven't looked in yet. So let's see what do we have. Obviously lots of packaging to begin with. Oh my goodness. I will say it was pretty heavy. I had to carry it from downstairs up here and that wasn't too terrible, but heavier than I thought it would be. Lots of manuals to be expected. Power cord also to be expected. Let's see. Um, when I was researching which machine I wanted to get, I actually went and visited um, a few of the local dealers that they have here. But I, all my other machines are brother machines, like my cover stitch and my, um, my serger are all brother machines. So I kind of knew that I would probably lean toward brother. Um, my machine, the sewing machine that I have now is also brother. So I just have an affinity for that brand and I'm very familiar with it and I already have a lot of the feet and I've invested, you know, in those kinds of things. And so I kind of knew maybe that I was going to go with brother before I actually really knew. Okay, the box is empty. All that's left is some styrofoam. So this is what is inside. You have the machine, which is so cute. It has like a little pink plate here, which I think is adorable because I'm a girl and what girl doesn't have pink. Um, you also have a really actually substantial cover, um, like really substantial. And this has like a whole big, huge pocket thing, like all of this fit in here. So I'm not a hundred percent sure what that's all about. And then you have, it looks like your, all your different stitches. So this attaches to something, I'm not sure what, but I guess we'll find out here in a minute. And then in here was also, I know what these things are, same little nylon bag that you get with your serger and your cover stitch machine. And it has a ton of different feet it looks like. Some of these feet I've never even seen before. Cool, also has needles. It has screwdrivers, um, this really big Mamma Jamma screwdriver, not sure what that's for, twin needle, your regular screwdrivers, your thread net thingamajig, your little brush. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't really recognize many of these feet at all. This one has like little markings for measurements on there, which is really cool. What are these things? Oh, this is the um, walking foot included. That's really cool. Sunny thinks there's food still in his bowl, but there's not. So there's your walking foot that you get with it. The one I have now, I don't know if it was my old machine or the foot that I got, but they weren't working together any longer. So I hadn't really been able to use it which was sad. What's this one? Ooh, I don't know what this is either, but it's metal and not plastic like the other ones. Kind of like a walking foot, but not. Made in Japan too. I was not made in Japan. Quarter of me was made in Japan. My grandmother's Japanese, if y'all did not know that little fun fact, fun fact about me. Okay, so yeah, that was everything that was in this little 
side pocket of the cover. And then there's our foot. Ow. A gas pedal. It's black. Smaller than the one I have now, like narrower than the one I have now. I wonder if I'll like that more or less, but I bet this is universal and I could swap them out, maybe. I don't know, it's just a pedal. I'm not so sure it's gonna make that big of a difference. All right, then the machine itself, let's see. Very cool, it has a little carrying handle. That's nice, Here, there's a tension here that you can't really see. Um, there's, I guess this is maybe the auto threader or something. There's a lever here. There's your dial here. There's taped up. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So now we're into the guts. So we have the thread. This holds the thread. This holds your bobbin. This is just how you thread it all. That's cool. And yeah, this will trim your stitching for you, like underneath. It'll cut it for you. Needle down. This is back stitching here. Um, has a little LCD. And then all your different little stitches. That's cool. What's in this thing? Everything kind of sort of looks like what I have now, but better. Awesome. Uh-oh, I hear things jingling around in here. Oh, that's neat. There's a ruler along the front. Don't have that now. How do you get into this? There we go. Oh, beautiful. So if you can see, they have another brush. They have all your feet and they're labeled with the letters. So like this is foot M, this is foot R, N, G here, and then extra bobbin storage all right here in like the base of your machine. That's, that's really handy. I like that a lot. I like that a lot, a lot. Here we go. Cool. So yeah, it's just your, your regular looking, well, looks regular to me, um, needle plate and all that jazz take all these stickers off. Yeah, it has the exact same drop-in bobbin system as every other brother, um, which is cool. And yeah, the same, like lift the presser foot here. That's neat. It still has the thread cutter here on the side, which is interesting. I guess there would be some times when you would need that versus um, snipping them from underneath with the automatic thread snips. Not so sure. But yeah, the machine itself looks really, really good. And it was inspected. That's always helpful. Checked it out, made sure it works. It is um, sorta heavy. It's definitely heavier than what I've got now, but the handle helps. Y'all know I live in this shoebox of an apartment, so I have to move my machine every time I use it because this table here is like my everything table. It's my cutting table, my dining table, my prep space, my everything. So I can't leave a sewing machine out while I'm cooking or whatever. There's just not the space for it. So I put it away in a cabinet every time I'm done using it. So in here, I think I know what's in here. Um, I think it's going to be the extension for the surface here. And I have a knee lift which if you're not sure what a knee lift is, you actually, when you're sitting down, you use your knee, you know, you use your knee sideways like this and it lifts the presser foot of the machine. So you don't ever have to get your hands like into the cavity of the machine. It does it all automatically. And yeah, that's exactly what's in here, cool. So yeah, here's my, well, here's the knee lift and it literally just attaches. There's a little hole right here and it attaches in there. I'm, assuming. Um, and then here is the extra table that comes with it. If you need wide space for quilting or if you're making a jacket or I don't know, you just need all that extra space. This is what you get. It has these little adjustable feet. 
That's really cool. It's so white and shiny and new. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, cool. Well, that's really it. <laughs> Not much to unboxing a sewing machine, I guess. You get the machine, you get a knee lift, some accessories, and the cover. Um, so yeah, this is again the Brother Laura Ashley PC660LA. Um, and at this point, I want to talk about my old machine. So it is probably, I think it might have cost me $150 when I first got it a few years ago. It's one of Brother's entry level Project Runway Edition machines. It works perfectly fine. I was sewing on it yesterday. And as I mentioned, I don't have a lot of space here, so I am not going to be able to keep my original machine. Um, and I've been thinking about what I wanted to do with it. And of course I could take it to like Habitat for Humanity or something like that. But I thought I would use our YouTube channel um, to see if we could maybe find a better home for my sewing machine. So what I'd like for you guys to do is think about people in your life that you know or people that maybe you know through someone else who has really been wanting a sewing machine or you think who might really benefit from a sewing machine. Um, and this is not somebody who's like, I just need a cheap sewing machine so I can make baby clothes. I want someone who really has a passion for creating things and investing in a sewing machine, even a $150 one, is a really big deal to them. I know there are a lot of people out there struggling paycheck to paycheck. Um, so maybe this person is a young person. Maybe they are older. Maybe this has been a lifelong dream of theirs to learn sewing. I don't know. I don't want to put too many boundaries on it, but I'd like to hear their story. So if you know someone, leave in the comments below a little bit of information about them. Um, and I will read through them and I will pick one of them to win my sewing machine, essentially, and I will ship it to them completely free. Um, I will pay for all the shipping charges and give them a, a sewing machine, something that they can learn on. So hopefully you will help me in this endeavor and, you know, help kind of pay it forward a little bit. You know, I know that we all know that having a creative outlet can help heal us in so many ways. And, you know, I really want somebody else who needs that to be able to experience that. So leave that information in the comment boxes below. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll leave them open for a couple weeks, maybe a month, and see what comes in. And see if there's anybody out there who, um, who would really benefit from having my old machine. But until then, until our next video, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Give this video a thumbs up. Every time you thumbs up a YouTube video, it shares it with other people so more people can find our sewing videos. So a thumbs up is, is really huge to us. So yeah, that'll do it. I'm so excited. I gotta get, I gotta read the manual. I've gotta, you know, get it all set up and then I've just gotta get started sewing on it. That's really the best way to learn. So I'm gonna go do that and I will see you guys next time. Bye.